Good afternoon, I'm Malcolm Jordan and this is your Midday News Fix for Tuesday the 17th of October. Inflation is continuing to decline. Just released figures from StatsNZ show the Consumer Price Index rose 5.6% in the year to September. That's down from 6% in the year to June. Jacob Jones reports. The inflation rate goes against what many economists and the Reserve Bank expected. StatsNZ says during the same time transport costs jumped 7.1%, housing and household utilities rose 1.7% and food saw a 0.9% rise. Chris Luxon says performance will be a key measure for his team as they take on the baubles of power. Nationals Caucus is meeting this morning for the first time since Saturday's resounding election result. 23 new MPs are joining the group, but the Prime Minister-elect says seniority and tenure are also top of mind for him. Experience is very important. We, if you've been here a long time, we want your best year to have been your last year. Uh, we want you to be able to propose policy ideas. We want you to be well circulated in the sectors that you're representing. And Labour MPs are also holding their first caucus meeting since the election where Chris Hipkins' future as Labour leader could be up for discussion. Hipkins says the focus now is on a smooth transition of power to national. A child has died in Auckland's Epsom this morning after being hit by a car in a driveway just before nine. Watling Street has been closed between St Andrews and Morven Roads. All eyes remain on Fletcher Building's share price today as it continues to grapple with the dispute across the Tasman. The country's largest construction company is rejecting an Australian building company's claims. It's Iplex Pipes leak, but analysts expect the dispute will ultimately end up in court. Fletcher Building shares ended down 11.6% yesterday. JMI Wealth Director Andrew Kelleher says that's not as bad as some feared, but it's still historically large for a single day fall. In Belgium, Brussels has raised its terror alert status to the highest level after a gunman shot two Swedes dead. The victims were five kilometres from the stadium hosting Belgium's match with Sweden, which was abandoned. The gunman's posted a video claiming to be an Islamic State member calling the attack revenge in the name of Muslims. France 24's David Keating says many details are still unclear. He is still on the loose in Brussels, the Prime Minister telling citizens to be careful, to be vigilant. And France is also on high terror alert after a teacher was fatally stabbed last week. State Highway 2, Remotaka Hill Road and State Highway 1 in southern Marlborough have reopened after earlier crashes. Meanwhile, strong winds continue to affect flights in and out of Wellington Airport. A US federal judge has issued a gag order on Donald Trump before his trial charged with electoral subversion. The former US president called prosecutors a team of thugs and one witness a gutless pig ahead of the trial scheduled for March. His lawyers call the comments part of the rough and tumble of politics. To sport, Aaron Routliff and Gabriella Dabrowski have become the sixth tennis doubles pair to qualify for the WTA finals in Mexico from October 29 to November 5 after winning the US Open. The Gold Coast has revealed a bid to rescue the 2026 Commonwealth Games from Victoria at a cost of around $750 million. And Stadium Southland in Invercargill will be renamed in honour of the late Sting coach Robin Broughton on Thursday night for the third. Constellation Cup netball test between New Zealand and Australia. I'm Malcolm Jordan, that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at 5pm from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.